We have discussions with governments around the world and we've certainly had some discussions with African governments on the subject of manufacturing and what, what enables a manufacturing environment in a country. And the reason it's important is the multiplier effect for employment. For every manufacturing job that you create in a country, there are at least five downstream jobs created. If it's, and, and we like to talk more about advanced manufacturing, where you bring much more advanced technologies to the manufacturing arena, and there the multiplier is even higher. It's eight or nine times. So for every single job in, in a man, advanced manufacturing, you should have a knock-on effect of eight or nine more jobs in the, in the value chain. So what are the things that make the ecosystem right for an advanced manufacturing strategy in a country? We believe there are about five key elements, and I'll, I'll put them very simply, and we can certainly go into more detail if you, if you like. Firstly, for, for manufacturing to be successful, there needs to be affordable, reliable power. So the power infrastructure needs to be in place. And then more in, the rest of the infrastructure, the enabling infrastructure, the, the, the roads and railways, the airports, the harbors, the, the, uh, the electronic infrastructure, all of that needs to function well to enable that kind of advanced manufacturing. Human capital development is the third point I'd make. Training, education, skills geared towards the private sector's needs. That's a very important part of enabling that, that, that vibrant manufacturing uh, enterprise. Trade, and, and you know, this is relevant because you need markets. If you're gonna establish manufacturing in a country, you don't want to limit your, your, your customer base just to the city or the country that you're in. You want a market that is wider, that's regional, or pan-African, or even international. And that talks to the need for trade liberalization, the opening up of trade and the harmonization of trade legislation across the region. So that's the fourth item. And finally, finance. You know, the, the availability of finance so that, that entrepreneurs have the right access to finance to, to develop, to, to, to capitalize their ventures and to succeed uh, with startups. So those five points are the areas that I would...